Wildlife photography, how do we start? So today in our video, we're gonna have so much fun. I'm gonna to talk to you about how to get started in wildlife photography. But if you are a wildlife photographer, what is your favorite tip for beginners? I mean, write me in the comments below so everybody can read it. Now, for today's video, I'm gonna assume that you already know the basics of photography, so I'm not gonna get into that, and I already assume that you have a camera. So we won't go too far into photography gear, but I do gonna mention it. So these are my 10 tips on how to start in becoming a wildlife photographer. So tip number one, first of all, why do you want to be a wildlife photographer? That's a very important question to ask because if you just want to do it to get nice photos, I mean, you need to do better than that. You need to be really passionate about wildlife animals and nature in general in order to be a very good wildlife photographer. It's not enough to just want to take nice photos. You need to strive for more than that. Two, photography gear. My advice to you is don't go immediately and buy the most expensive gear. I mean, you need to learn what can you do with your own gear. Your gear is perfectly, perfectly fine. The most important piece of gear is what you have here. Work on that. Try to get better and better and better. If you don't have a good lens, just try to get closer, get within range, use camouflage, buy a new, if you wanna buy a new gear, if you wanna buy a new lens, buy a good lens. I mean, don't buy the cheap one, which you won't like, won't get you the results that you want, and you will end, you'll end up buying the expensive one, selling yours at loss, and you end up spending more money. So keep that in mind. Tip number three, where should you start photographing? So the best way to start is in your own environment. So go in your backyard, look for some birds, go in your neighborhood, go in your area around your town, go to a nature reserve within your own country and just go out there and practice, 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 practice. Photography is a skill. In order to make that skill the best it can be, you have to practice a lot. Learn from other photographers like you're doing right now and look at their photos. Learn what they did right. Learn what you can do better. And that's how you start. Tip number four, edit your photos. Let me tell you a secret. Every professional photographer edits, me included. Photoshop or Lightroom are our darkroom and every photo needs some correction and a small correction can make a huge difference in the end result. So learn your editing software, learn how to edit and be good at it. It can really improve your images. Tip number five, ask for review, not applause. When you upload your photo, it can be either to Facebook or Instagram or anywhere else, ask for an honest opinion. If somebody tells you that this photo is not good, ask them what can you improve in it? Because that's how you learn the best way you can. I mean, if everybody just says, wow, it's amazing, it's gorgeous, I wish I were you, it doesn't help you. It doesn't make you better. You're not advancing as you could have if somebody would have given you their honest opinion and advice. Embrace it and learn from it. Tip number six, get better. After you've read the reviews, you've heard other opinions, you analyzed your own photos and you understand what you did right and what you did wrong and how you can you improve, then you go out there and fix everything. I'm never satisfied with my images. I always think that we can do better and that's the force that driving me forward. That's what makes me take better and better photos and I'm always trying to be better than my previous image. There is an old saying that the best, best photo you'll take is the one you'll take tomorrow. Tip number seven, learn new techniques. I mean, I know I've already mentioned it before, but it's crucial in the beginning. 
learn like you watching this video watch my 10 tips for wildlife photography video like you see here in the up in the link in the box and just read read learn watch go out there and do some more i'm always learning and again there's a saying if you think you know everything you will learn nothing so i'm also learning i'm also trying to be better i'm being inspired by many awesome photographers out there and i encourage you to do the same tip number eight learn your animals Whenever I'm going out and photographing a new kind of animal, I'm learning about it. I'm watching documentaries to see how the, this animal behaves, how it moves, how it reacts. Um, I'm looking at other photography techniques that the photographers or cinematographers have used in capturing that animal. And I encourage you to do the same. If you know your animals, if you know what to expect and how to photograph them the best way you can, I assure you, your images will be so much better. Tip number nine, patience. Wildlife photography is a lot about patience because we don't control our subjects and things never happen when we want them to happen. They happen when they need to happen. So sometimes we need to wait for hours and hours until the decisive moment occurs. And don't be frustrated about it. That's what nature is. You're not in a zoo and those animals are not trained and you're a wildlife photographer. So you need to respect the animals and wait when they're ready. And then you'll get the images that you want. So patience, perseverance, and just go out there and shoot some more. Tip number 10, workshops. So there are many photographers who are doing workshops and I'm one of them. So I'm taking people abroad on different workshops, photography workshops. It can be Svalbard with polar bears or Tanzania and Kenya for the Great Migration or Pantanal for Jaguars. And I encourage you to go online, do your research, find the workshop that you want after you know what you want to photograph and join. So when you're out there with a professional photographer, you can learn a lot from that photographer on how to behave, how to act, how to take photos, how to get better photos. You'll get critique and review along the way and you can really make a difference in your photography level. I mean, I've heard from some of my guests who came with me on photography workshops that the level before and the level after the workshop is immensely improved. So that's a huge leap in your photography skill, especially if you're a beginner. So join some workshops, go out there, take some unique photos of extraordinary animals, and you'll get an amazing portfolio, an amazing gallery, you learn a lot, and of course, you're gonna have the best time out there being in the wild with a pro. And if you wanna join me, the link is in the description. So these were 10 tips on how to begin in wildlife photography. Share this video with friends and colleagues who love wildlife photography so they can learn it too. And of course, I'd love to hear your favorite tip in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe, turn on the notification bell, and I'll see you in the next video. In the meantime, do you wanna watch 10 tips on wildlife photography or how to photograph polar bears. Oh, and don't forget, give a thumbs up if you liked it. You can give it a thumbs down if you didn't like it, but I'd love to hear your opinion.